question. Content creators know to actually ask people. Y'all are Hi. Guys are just out, just chasing clout, trying to get a name or get some some views. Without that you ain't work for. Hello. How are you? Ooh, you might want to move your face back. Hello. How are you? I'm wonderful. There we go. What do you got for me? <clears throat> um. So I am 28. I live in Atlanta, Georgia, and um, I guess I just, you know, I want to know why, you know, what, what my, what my stats are like. For what? Uh, like, you know. I don't, I don't know what you, what do you mean, stats for what? Because, you know, I want to be married or whatever. I want to be in a relationship, but I feel like maybe I'm a little too picky. <laughs> um, I don't know. I think are you being I'm, serious or are you trolling me? No, I'm being very serious. I think I could be a little bit too picky, but I would like to. What do you mean? Well, picky meaning what? Um, I mean, I just want a guy that, like, you know, is successful, um, a provider, a leader, and you know, but you I feel like, do I have children? No, I don't. You go to college? I um I graduated. I have my bachelor's. In what? Psychology. Uh, do you want children? I do. How many? Um, I would like you know maybe like two or three. Okay. And do you want to have to work to pay significant bills after you're pregnant with the first child? Um, I think working is normal. I, I don't have a problem working. Do you want to have to work to pay significant bills after you're pregnant with the first child? Yes. <clears throat> How much would you need to make in Atlanta to raise three children in middle class? Um, I think uh, me and my husband would probably need like a combined income of like 150000 a year. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> For three children? Well, okay, well, let's say this progressively over time, because you're not just going to have like three children all at once. So the idea is like by the third child, I think we should have built wealth to at least like 200,000 annually. I think that's reasonable. Yeah, and it's close to the 350,000 for three kids. Oh, okay, that's fair. And how much is a psychology? How much are you going to make of that? Um, so currently I make like right around like 80,000 a year. Um, mm -hmm. And the idea, I actually am currently working towards like building my income substantially. So the idea yeah, is hopefully- but, but After you start, after you're married, pregnant, having kids, you're not going to be working full time. Yeah, so the idea but is that you're if- You're not going to be working full time. Yeah, the, the idea is always to, to somehow become phantom rich before you start having babies. That's not how life works. Okay. You work so you live. So you're saying I need more money? Do you have? Um, I have like 15000 in loans. You have consumer debt. I don't have any consumer debt. Okay, how tall are you? I'm five foot three. Dress size? Um, I'm like a four. <laughs> A four, four, five. You mind backing the camera up? My face looks a lot heavier. I hold a lot of weight in my face, but I'm I'm petite. Do that so we can see up and down. I don't really... Well, I don't really have like real clothes on right now. I kind of have. I I, re I recently had surgery, so I have like um. What kind of surgery? Like, um, I don't I don't want to blast myself. You got like six thousand. <laughs> okay. I How much? What's the most you've ever weighed? Share. What's the most you've ever weighed? Um, a hundred and, hundred and fifty pounds. Okay. Uh, yeah, you you look a little. You look much bigger than a dress size. Four. I mean, I, I I'm not. Trust face, me. But. Okay. No, I'm not. But I'm you're not, still talking I'm not, about I'm not. 
I said, I said, okay. But I'm still saying, you're still talking about a man in the top. 8% of earners. Eight, top 8% of earners. So, okay, so I, I listened to your live with like the last lady and I felt like you were like, okay, you're 44. So I guess my question to you is for like a, a, a woman in her mid twenties, just an average woman, like what should be your, like what should be the goal? Because honestly, I feel like, you know, I need hearing you to stand you, still and I need you to stay still in one place. People oh. are watching this. Oh, sorry. Um, like, because I mean, especially here in Atlanta, I feel like Hold men. On, let me add, let me ask you a question. An average woman. Yeah. What's your mother? Average... What's your father do for a living? Uh, my father, he's um, a professor. He's a chairman at a university, and my mom's a pharmacist. Okay. Okay. They're above average, but they went to college. But I mean, average people get average people. Yeah. What's an average? What's the average black man make in this country? Um, you said fifty thousand. So yeah, well, actually it's forty two, but fifty is still. I mean, uh, how old are you again? Twenty eight. Uh huh. Have you ever dated a man making one hundred fifty thousand dollars a year? I have. How long ago was that? Um, I mean, most of them. Hold on, hold on. When I say date, I mean serious. Did you just roll your eyes? You said what? Did you just roll your eyes? No, no, no. That was, I was thinking. I was okay. like thinking. Okay. When I say date, I meant y'all were Facebook. You know, this is my man. He's claiming you. I'm not talking about, he's got another girlfriend. Y'all monogamous. Mm -hmm. Have yeah. you ever dated a man making that kind of money? Yeah, the last guy I dated. Uh, how long? How long did you guys date? Um, we were friends for a while, and how so long did we all date uh, for like a year. All right, and why didn't that go anywhere? He he. Um, I think because of his um earning potential, he got like I feel like so he was like a plastic surgeon, and I feel like he start. So we started dating when he entered residency, and like. I just feel like he got big headed. Like he realized like all the women that were chasing him and he's like No, no, no. <laughs> no. He, he I guess No, no, listen. Okay, listen. Excuse me? We had a difference in values. Well, Our not really, not really, because you're talking about the way he started looking at his potential the same way you Rolled your eyes and I said, "My black man made forty thousand. No, 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 no. Like he, okay. So he started saying like he wants to have like a polygamous family, and he don't believe in like he just the things he. And if that's what he wants, he can get it. And he can. I, I'm right. Fully believe right. he can. Because why? Because he's in the top eight percent of black men and top earners. And you ask me, man. Um, you gotta rank yourself. Well, where would you rank yourself? Um, I I mean I think I'm like a you know, like a, a seven. I don't do sevens. You say you don't do seven? No. What is that like what do you, what does that you mean? You can't rate you can't use seven because everybody wants to use seven. Zero to ten, you can't use seven. Now you gotta see why I don't use seven, because everybody wants to use seven as a safe number. <laughs> Okay, uh, uh, 7.5? No, no, no version of a 7. Okay, 8. Okay, 8. Okay. And you, you, all right, now, if you, now, I'm going to say something, okay? Uh, maybe that's just expressive, but if you're doing all that shit with your face, I'm going to tell you to get up off my phone. That's not cool, young lady. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm just an expressive person. It's not disrespect. Yeah, it is. I'm yeah, very, you, would do this, you would do this shit in church or in the college class. Okay, I'm sorry. I mean, you asked me for my professional advice, so can you respect the platform? I sure can. 
Thank you. An eight. You give yourself an eight. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, who else would you rank in the eight category as far as like famous people, musicians, movie stars, that kind of stuff? Okay. Um. Uh, a eight as a famous person, mm -hmm. like in like a ratio, like not no, like Beyonce is an eight. No, Beyonce is not an eight. Who's the image consultant in real life? Okay, so you think Beyonce is an eight? I think Beyonce is a ten. No, she's not. Okay. Beyonce is an eight. Kelly Roller would be a nine. And Rihanna, even with her big forehead, would be a ten. Okay. So by giving yourself an eight, you put yourself in the category where Beyonce is. Okay. <laughs> so I'm not an eight. Are you in the category with Beyonce? I mean, no. This is one of the major issues. You ladies don't know how to rank yourself. So when somebody like myself comes along with the truth, most people in my profession will give Beyonce an eight. And many black women will give her a 10 because you want to guys want to give yourself higher numbers. So are you in her category or not in her category? No, I'm not, I'm not Beyonce. Okay. I mean, we're talking about just from the face. Oh, okay. Okay, then what, then what would you give yourself if you know, understand Beyonce as an eight? Okay, maybe I'm like a six. Which is closer to reality. Because by giving yourself an eight, you automatically put yourself in the pretty, beautiful, or gorgeous of all women across the world. And I'm sorry, 28 years old, your lived life has told you that you're likely not there. Not in the comment section. Are you reading the comments? You said what? I said, were well, you reading the comments? I haven't really seen any of the comments. Okay, What's, good. What they so ultimately what I'm trying to get you to understand is, um, you carry, you carry, don't look in the comment section. You you carry your weight in your face. Okay. I um, mean, and, and you said that you've uh, recently had surgery. So that typically means stuff like. To, you, oh my gosh, this is on my page. No, it's not, it's on my page. Okay. This is showing up on my page. Awkward as hell. Well, I mean, life is life. <laughs> and I haven't been, I mean, here's the thing though, man. Whoever you are on here, live stream or wherever, that's who you are in the real world. Mm -hmm. And if you're wanting a man who's going to be in the top earners of black men, mm -hmm. that's an extremely competitive place to be. I said, that's top, that's 2% of men. I mean, but what if, what if your goal, like, I mean, I, I don't think income is really one of the first things I look at when it comes to a man. Uh, but it's but it is a factor based upon what you want as far as an outcome. The amount of ch okay, you want three children, two to three children. Are you content with having to share a car? Are you content with having to drive something like uh, oh I don't know, uh, what's an inexpensive fifteen twenty thousand dollar car? Are you content with driving a twenty thousand dollar car? This for the rest of your life? Are you content in living in like an $80,000, $90,000 home, East Point, Decatur, College Park? I mean, I mean, most people don't earn college money. Most people are normal people. See, now, now shit gets real. Because you, you start to backpedal, but it's I like, mean, well, no. I, I just the reality is I feel like the reality is you want a different you want a lifestyle of a white collar middle class to upper middle class person. 
Because that's what your mother and father sound like they had. Pharmacist, the I, professor. I, You're breaking up. I want, I, I believe that my parents, my parents worked hard and they afforded a pretty decent life for me. And they came here as immigrants and they weren't rich. So the, I, like the idea that I have to All right, but the difference is, the difference is, the difference is, you're not them. You were born with Western sensibilities. Well, I I came. I wasn't born here in America. I uh, was born in Western Nigeria. Western sensibility. Okay. Western sensibilities. Man. But what I'm what I'm saying I, is okay. Okay. I, okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Listen. Okay. Where do you live? I live in Atlanta, Georgia. But you I'm live with open. your parents. Yes. Yeah. I live with my parents. Why? To save money to build my business. Okay. Have you ever lived on your own? Yes, I did. All right. Um, so you live with your parents to build your business. So if somebody's making eighty thousand dollars, you 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 would be okay with the man making half of what you're making. I would be okay with a man making half of what I'm making if he had a plan and a vision see, for it. See, guys, here, see, this is what it always comes down to. I'd accept it as long as he had ambition. See, this always comes down. Listen, no, 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 no. We know where this goes, man. You, you, something's wrong with your speaker. Okay. No. The average purse, the average black man in this country earns $42,000. There's no more money. There's no more ambition. There's no money tree. There's no side hustle. That's what the French toast they earn. Half of the men earn that. I mean, it, but can what, you what listen I'm, and understand that? I do understand. I completely understand. All right, understand. and then the men that earn more than that want a hell of a lot more. Like your ex boyfriend who told you, "Oh, I'm an above average earner. I'm going to go get the moon and the stars because most guys earn less than me." Is okay, so let me, can I ask you Listen, a question? the men that you want, the income, the lifestyle, no matter how you want to slice it, how you want to pretty it up, I've been, this is not my first rodeo. Please stop looking in the comment section. Look at, look ahead and think of, oh, sorry. when you're looking down there, it looks like you're not looking here. When you're, at the end of the day, man, you can pretty it up, but you want a certain kind of lifestyle. It's a white client, a white collar lifestyle. Mm hmm. All right. So let me ask you this. Can oh, I ask Jesus. a question? If that's okay. Can I? So for women who have realistic goals, who maybe like, I guess what I'm trying to say, is it okay to want a man that has a, a average earning potential and you guys are able to, to build to have more in the future. Like, I, I feel like sometimes you kind of discuss No, 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 you're not the builder. That's why I stopped you. No, you roll your eyes one more time and I'm going to uh, hang this shit up. I don't do that, young lady. Okay. I don't know what the French toast is wrong with you. But you know what I do know? Is this how you act on the phone? You are tripping a relationship. And I've tried to be really nice to you. For acting the way you do, bucking your eyes and shit. This is live, people are looking. Okay, so I'm gonna get off live because I feel like you're being a little outrageous. But thank you so much. Yeah, I, you don't come over to somebody's place playing games. Bottom line is, I am. Bottom line is, all you women, he's so rude. No, women like her are rude. You come over to somebody's business, bucking your eyes. Mm -hmm. That's another woman for whom the average earning man would not be good enough. See, what I want for you ladies is to start understanding every time a woman says that they need a man in the top 15, top 10, top 5% of earners, they are telling. The rest of me, you're not good enough. Well, if they can say that, that's fine. But they're going to have to be able to live up to that. 
Y'all don't seem to have any problem with women having a standard. But when the man comes along and say, well, guess what, man? You know, you saw her have a fuller face. And I'm like, all right, men who earn the kind of money you're talking about are going to get women who have room to grow. Stand at your mother's house, owning my own business. There's too much attitude. Too full of yourself. That young lady was very full of herself. She may not have been acting all over the place, but she was very, very full of herself. It's a lot of ego. And that does well for when y'all are talking y'all as diva queen boss stuff, but it does not work well for the kind of men that women say they want. So if you think this is rude, then now stay out for here, man, because this is how men talk. I've said it. Men are not going to talk to you like we're women. This is my platform. And when I've had enough of somebody acting immature, childish, goofy, I'm going to call it out. And if that's rude to you, don't come back. That's what I said on Clubhouse. Women are used to one way of aggression. You're used to women being able to act a complete ass. And men are just supposed to take it. Men are supposed to let women just say whatever, do whatever, and just because they're not screaming or raising their voice, we're just supposed to let you do it. No, absolutely not. And the bottom line is, you, she rated herself an eight. She thinks she's pretty. Okay. She's cute. She's cute. But you're not at the Beyonce level. You're not 8, 9, and 10. Life has shown that. You're at the 5, 6 area. And because I could not get an accurate estimation of her physique, I will give her the benefit of the doubt and say that she had an average physique. But I do know with such a full face, men tend not to be drawn to full-faced women. Especially if, you know, for lots of reasons. So at what point do you ladies feel like you're going to have to start making... See, this whole... The problem we've gotten to is so many women feel like they're settling for being realistic. An average man is nothing to settle for. I got news for y'all. An average man is nothing to settle for. And I'm tired of hearing y'all talk about you'll be settling for that. You don't settle for an average man. You settle for a below average man. An average man is a catch. Just like an average woman is supposed to be the prize, right? 